Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. This is kind of a fly by the seat of my pants video because I am currently packing for my trip to Tokyo. I thought it would be great to just kind of go through my list of things that I'm packing and then also share with you my wish list. One of the things I'm really excited to do in Japan is visit all of the traveler's notebook spots. I want to go to the Starbucks Reserve and get any of the exclusive material that I can get there. I'll also be at Tokyo Station that's very close to the hotel we're staying at so I want to go to that location. My understanding is that there's also a store at the airport where they have some exclusives. My husband was in Tokyo last December and I was pretty new to fountain pens but very excited and I have a video of all the beautiful pens he brought home to me. But when he went I didn't want to like buy into the hype of getting Japan exclusives because I was so new to the hobby. I just wanted to get things that I knew were going to be excellent. So he got me the Pilot Custom 823. I got the Shape of Hearts with the Swarovski crystals. I got a Platinum 3776 in the Tortoise. I'm like looking at some of the things, but I didn't get any Japan exclusives. This trip, I plan on doing just the opposite and then skipping all of the stuff that I can get back here in the States, unless I can get it for, you know, a better deal because things tend to be less expensive in Japan. This is the current traveler's notebook that I am in right now. And my husband did get this for me in Japan. And then I ordered the Japan brass tab. I'm not gonna bring this with me though, because I know I'm going to end up getting one of these either at Tokyo Station or at Starbucks. So I'm going to leave this behind, but I am going to bring this insert, which is my dated calendar. I don't think I will get one of these in 2024. I think when it comes to the traveler's notebook, I'm very much an undated kind of girl because I just want to bring it with me when I'm traveling places and going to special spots. So recently I brought my passport book with me to Maine when we went to Acadia and I had purchased the field notes for the national parks and I journaled in that. It was really my first time like really digging into the passport book. I have since started really enjoying this. I am going to bring this book which I got at Yoseka and recently when I purchased the Yoseka home pen, they sent out these little Yoseka tags with all of the pre-orders as like a thank you, as well as some other goodies. Um, and I shared that in a recent video. This also has a dated calendar in it. So I think it will just be nice to bring along with me when I'm there. So this is just a sample of some pages that I worked on recently. I'm really enjoying the smaller books lately. In fact, next year I'm moving out of the Hobonichi Cousin and into the B6 by Sterling Inc. I am going to be in Tokyo on September 1st and if you are a Hobonichi fan then you know that is the release date. So I want to go to the Hobonichi store which is called Tobichi and get some of the new releases for Hobonichi. I'm so excited that I'm going to be in Japan at 11 a.m on September 1st when all of these items hit the market. The only thing is I think a few of the things that I want um, are English versions and I don't think they drop until October or November but I'm just so excited to be there. It's like a thousand degrees right now and I'm right in the sun. I've been in the Cousin and I've also been working in an A5 Loistrom notebook. Right now I'm in a Rhodia notebook which I don't really love for my morning pages and I just think that next year I want to move into smaller things. So I think I'm going to use the Techo for my daily pages. I'm going to use the B6 for my everyday carry and I'm going to stay in the Hobonichi weeks for my gratitude journal and my wellness journal. So I'm so excited to be at Hobonichi while I'm there. But I am bringing this insert. This also has all the spots that I want to visit with the address. So I want to go to Itoya. That's the store my husband went to when he was in Japan and get a couple store exclusives there. I'd love to go to Ancora and that is the store where you can create your own sailor pen. You can also mix your own ink. I've been enjoying watching videos about that. Those stores are both in Ginza, which is also pretty close to us. Tokyo Station has a lot of fun things. I'm excited to explore Tokyo Station. There's also a store called Loft, and I believe there is a loft inside Tokyo Station, correct me if I'm wrong, or there's a standalone store in Ginza. A lot of these places will overlap in different parts of Tokyo. I'd also like to check out the 
the Kakimori store. I've been holding off buying the brass nib and holder, but I'm planning to buy it there. And that store looks really beautiful. It's my understanding too that you can make your own notebooks at that store. So needless to say, I have a really big list of things that I want to explore and potentially buy when I'm in Tokyo. So I'm trying to pack light. So I'm going to bring my dated standard insert. I'm also bringing my ink journal because I plan to get some exclusive inks while I'm there. And I also don't want to be excessive and buy inks that I may already have. This journal is new to me, but it's the Sterling Ink. Um, I think this is her weeks, like just a notebook and it's the size of the weeks. So I am just bringing this so I can do some samples. So I, I've been doing my, here, I'm going to come up close here. I've been doing my ink samples. Sorry, the lighting is kind of funky right now. I've been doing like currently inked and then I flip it this way and I'm doing like my pen and ink sample. So I thought it would be really fun to do the same, especially if I'm getting the Kakamori um, brass nib. I thought it would be really fun to bring my ink journal with me so I can keep track of some of the inks that I'm picking up there. Also in my passport notebook, I am bringing some of the ink tags from my color ring just to sample some stuff while I'm out there. I also took my traveler's notebook like little icons and I cut them up so that they could fit in here. I did bring a blank notebook insert for my passport and for my standard size so that I can stamp things at the different stores. At train stations, they have stamps. And then at all of the traveler's notebook stores, there are also opportunities to you know, put stamps in your book from that particular location. So I thought that would be really fun. So I have a blank insert that I will bring to each location. So this is it really for traveler's notebook in weeks. I'm bringing my superior labor pouch that I bought. This is the engineer pouch and this is actually the first time I've taken it out of the house. I was going to do my Delphonics bag. I really do love this utility pouch but it has a lot of compartments and I'm traveling so I just kind of want everything zipped into one thing so I can throw it in my backpack or my bag and I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to bring my cousin and use this in place of my morning pages. I typically just do like a daily reflection in my cousin but I figured since I'm going to be away. I'm going to be documenting so much in my traveler's notebooks that when I'm back at the hotel room, I thought it would be nice to just um, document my stuff and my cousin leave my other notebook here at home for when I get back. If you are somebody who keeps everything in one notebook, this is probably overwhelming to you, but in my head, it all makes sense. This is the little checklist for my Tokyo packing that I did. I'm going to bring my Lululemon belt bag as well as just a little crossbody for when, I'm, when I want to be hands-free and then the Lululemon bag when I just want to be lightweight. We're going out to a couple nice dinners, so I want to have a nice handbag with me. Of course, my AirPods. I am bringing a book and I even went as far as printing out the little um the little picture of it from Amazon because I want to start reading more and documenting what I'm reading and Verity my daughter gave me this book from Colleen Hoover. I thought this would be a cute little thing to include in my Tokyo travel traveler's notebook because I anticipate that I will finish this book on the 14 hour flight there or home. I'm also bringing some of the elastics. I don't wanna buy things that I don't need. So I also took a photo of all of my inserts for my standard size traveler's notebook, as well as my passport size notebook, mouthful, because I just don't want to over buy because I have a tendency to do that. So I thought it would be really nice if I could just at a glance, see what my inserts were at home and kind of stick to the plan of buying the Japan exclusives. I'm going to be like a kid in a candy store in Tokyo. Of all the pouches that I have, I decided to bring my little cheapy one that is like under $20. And what is this? The Planny Pack or something like that by Erin Condren. This was one of the very first little pouches that I bought and it actually just goes right onto an A5 notebook. It's just so lightweight. I have all these beautiful leather pieces, but I don't want it to weigh down my backpack. In here, I have my fountain pens that I'm bringing, which took me a while to figure out. And then I have these Sarsa um, little pens, and I believe these are the antique colors. 
Um, I have like a gray, a mustard, and like an eggplant that I'm going to bring for journaling. A uh, pencil, in case I wanna do any drawing. I've been writing almost exclusively with my fountain pens, but I thought I would bring some of these because I'm going to have time. I'm not going to be working. I think I'm putting my eBay store, my Poshmark store, on vacation, which I've almost never done in five years. I want to just really enjoy myself. So I wanna get a little artsy while I'm out there. I'm going to have all this stationery around me. So I packed those. I literally sat down for like an hour and a half. I watched the Goulet podcast and I just really went through all of my pens and tried to decide what do I wanna bring with me. I decided that I needed to bring a couple pens from Japan um, and the one that I went with surprised me because I don't reach for this pen all the time, but this was my very first gold nib pen that I bought, you know, probably 10 months to 11 months ago. I just started collecting fountain pens back in September of 2022. I really dove head first into this hobby, but I put um, steeped umber in this. I had picked up a sample of steeped umber when I purchased my Scribo feel because I was thinking of maybe using that color in it and I thought it would be a really beautiful journaling color. I'm definitely into all the fall colors, browns, rusts, olive green, like I love all those tones and now that we're heading into fall I'm, I'm like just I'm there. So I put steeped umber in this because it's a sailor. It was my first gold nib. It also is one of my less expensive sailor pens so I thought if anything happened, um, it wouldn't be super expensive to replace. I was thinking, what is practical, what is economical, and what is a good writer? And pens that would travel well with good colors. I didn't want to bring a lot of funky colors with me. In my morning pages, I tend to use a lot of different colors, but when it comes to my Hobonichi and in my passport journal, my traveler's notebook, I tend to be more streamlined with darker, more legible inks. The other one that I brought was just my Pilot Vanishing Point. This is my standby. I love this in my Hobonichi. I, I just love this pen. If I had to pick top five, which pens I couldn't live without, this would definitely be in my top five. It's a medium nib. It's the black matte finish. I have platinum carbon ink in here. I just refilled it today, so I decided that that would be a good one. I knew that I wanted to bring a Kaveco Sport. I initially grabbed the brass pen, but I really don't like my nib on that pen, and it's too bad. I actually pulled it out. I was hoping to swap it with the medium nib in this white pen. I don't know if you can swap these out. I'm thinking not, but the brass one came right out, so I just might replace that nib because I love that pen. I love that it's so durable. It's meant for traveling, but I just don't like the nib on it. So I ended up taking this white one, which I'm going to tuck in my travelers. I just like the white with this. And this has um, the toffee brown. No, the toffee brown is my Mont Blanc color. This just has the caramel brown that goes, it's just a little cartridge from Caveco that's in here. But then I also have um, Faber-Castell olive green in my Kaveco olive pen. I love the way this writes. This is a medium nib. I'm bringing both medium nibs. That's that's no surprise. I really love them. And this is just a beautiful, consistent writer. It was between this and my Bordeaux pen with Oxblood. And this just happened to have some ink already in it. So I decided to go with this olive. I was watching Adventure Denali and she was doing a new video about how much she loved Twisby. And I, can't say that I love my Twisbees. And I really think when I first started, that was my first nice pen. I got a Twisby um, Ego in the rose gold white, and I bought the brilliant brown ink from Pelican. And it was like, I thought that was the end all be all. That's all I would ever need for fountain pens. You can all laugh now. I can't find my rose gold pen. It also had a fine nib uh, and it was a great writer. I loved it, but the other, Twisbees that I have since purchased. Uh, one was a stub nib that I got at the Fountain Pen Hospital in New York City. It's a really fun pen, but it's a stub nib, so it's not something that I'm journaling with. And then I bought this secondhand, and this is a clear pen, and it's either a medium or a broad nib. I think it's a medium. Um, and I got this secondhand, and I just haven't used it much. So I pulled this out. It has Coco Shimmer in it, has a great ink capacity. So if I decide to like write my heart out, 
I will have a Twisby with me. And I also thought it would be nice because I'm limiting myself, because I'm traveling, I'm taking just these four, well actually five if you count this little white one too. So I'm going to use these a lot, even though I'm probably going to buy a couple pens while I'm out there. I thought that this would give me another chance to fall back in love with Twisby. I have nothing against Twisby, I just find that I reach for my Kaweco All Sports more than I reach for my Twisbys. Let's give this a shot. This is my lineup. As far as things that I want to buy when I'm out there, I'd really like to get a pair of little travel scissors. I know that's a weird thing. I could order that, but I thought that would be a cute thing to pick up. I also want to get um, the clear acrylic stamps. I thought that might be a fun thing to buy at the loft. The Starbucks Reserve Traveler's Notebook washi tape is so adorable. I'm really looking forward to picking up some fun washi. So in my dated calendar, when I put the store in, I also wrote some of the things that I want to get from each store. I'm bringing my Dagny Dover backpack. That's what I'm going to carry on. And then here's my, my Lululemon bag. Um, here's my book. I also have this little pouch that goes inside. This is what's going to have all of my chargers, my AirPods, things like that. I just hope it all fits in here. I think the only challenge is really going to be my Sony camera because I don't have like the perfect case for that. But this is a nice squishy bag and I'm sure that I could find something to keep that safe in here so that I can vlog when I am there. I think that's everything. I'm going to go over my list and check it twice. If you know of some Japan exclusives, specifically pens, um, I think I'm probably gonna look at some decimos and some vanishing points because I think that they have quite a variety in Japan that are not offered in the United States and I do love my vanishing point. I wouldn't be opposed to getting a fine nib in a decimo, which is a little bit thinner, or another vanishing point because I love that pen so much. Um, I think I'm going to get the Lamy exclusive at Itoya just because I like it. It looks like it's like a like a taupey bone color and it's got, um, I believe it's a rose gold uh, clip on it, which is, that's not like a super expensive thing. I do have the terracotta pen with the black nib and I really like the way that the black nib writes better than my stainless steel nibs. I don't know if I just got unlucky, but these are my two Lamy Safaris. This one I love. This one pains me because it's so scratchy. It's, um, I think it's a, and this is an extra fine nib and it's so smooth. This is a medium or fine nib and it's so scratchy. So I am just biased towards the, the black nib because I've had a good experience with this and I believe it's a black nib at Itoya. But that's kind of a fun store exclusive. I'm going to make my own pen at Ancora. But I'm also thinking of Bunga Box. They have a pretty blue pen, but they tend to be pretty pricey. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with it, but do let me know in the comments if you know of a little hidden gem store where I could find some fun inks or just stationery that you think I might enjoy. I am so excited to explore Tokyo. I will definitely be filming while I'm there. We are there for seven days, six or seven days. I don't know with the travel, it might just be six days. I'm exploring a neighborhood that has a lot of thrift shops and vintage shops for my other channel. We're taking a whole day to do that, which I think will be really fun. And it's my first time ever going to Japan. My husband's been there, I think, 10 times. So he will be a great tour guide. And luckily he has some time that's not gonna be working so that we'll have a lot of time together. And also one of his business associates is traveling and his wife is coming. So she's gonna hang out with me. So you may meet her in my videos, but I'm very excited. Just thought I would share my packing and my excitement and my thought process before heading out the door. And now I need to go pack my bags and finish all of this stuff, get it all organized so I don't forget anything. If you like fountain pens and content about planners and stationery and fountain pen ink and all the things, be sure to subscribe and I will be back soon with a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to reading your comments. Bye.